Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you for stopping back and if you're a new subscriber, uh, thank you for uh, checking this video out. I'm Eric, the Blue Collar Pipe Smoker and welcome to the Dr. Grabo Big Pipe Project. This pipe is one of my favorite Dr. Grabos that I own. It's very large. Uh, it has very thick walls. It just gives you a nice, uh, long, cool smoke. Um, I believe this is uh, Art's favorite of the Dr. Gray Bow line too. I tend to like a little bit uh, more of a larger pipe. Uh, so when I got this one, I never thought anything of it until, um, as far as its look, I never thought anything of it as far as how it looked until I started to delve into pipe refurbishing. I bought this brand new. So this was not one of the pipes that I bought like over the summer where I was buying all these estates off of eBay and then I was using the micro mesh pads and all that on them to get them refurbished. Uh, but this one I bought brand new. And as you can see, it's got like a lacquer on it and a stain. You know, it's to me, that's not the most ideal thing uh, for a pipe. Um, the more I mess with pipes, the more when you start getting all the grease and all the oils from your fingers and you get back down to the briar and you just run into all this bird's eye and flame and uh, briar that you uh, just didn't see there before. So this might be a mistake <laughs> or it might be something good. This might turn out very well. I don't know. But at this point, I've got so many pipes now. I've got pipes coming out of my ears. I'm willing to uh, run the risk of ruining it. Um, to see if there's some pretty grain underneath this. And I just want to bring this down to the uh, natural, pretty, nice briar that it is. So this is going to be what's called the uh, Dr. Grabo Big Pipe Project. And I'd like to thank you in advance for uh, checking it out and uh, following along as we uh, take this baby apart. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the stem. And I've got some fingernail polish remover that I stole from my wife. Um, and I'm going to put some of this nail polish remover on here. And I'm going to take the finish off of the pipe. So let's start with that first. And you should start lifting this. Yeah, yeah, see? Coming right off. Which is good, because I, like I said, I, I think that there's some nice wood underneath here. Why cover all that up, you know? So, I'm just gonna continue. Yeah, see, this is all coming off. It's already starting to lighten up, you see that? And I can already see grain, which is great. That's what we want. We want to get all of that awful stain and crap off of this baby so that we could finally see that beautiful grain that's sitting underneath there. So as you can see, it's already starting to lighten up. See, look at that. You couldn't see that with that junk stain on it. You've already, you're already seeing some nice grain come through. So let's get some more. Again, I might run into some ugly spots on this, but you know what? I'd rather have it have some character and uh, see some pretty grain come through on it. And, um, you know, make it really come back to life and just restore it to its natural way. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this. Uh, I will check back with you guys in a little bit and then we'll see how it looks with all the finish stripped off. So uh, just hang tight. Okay, so that one's sitting and drying. Uh, I want that acetone, the wetness from that to, uh, to start um, dissipating. Uh, I've got this one here. This is an old Tom Howard, a uh, little 
medium-sized bull moose uh, that I got from Bishop's Pipes back uh, in the summer. Uh, and this one here has some type of a funky, um, uh, what do you want to call it, like a lacquer or something like that. So um, uh, this one, I remember him saying like, hey man, I, I got a Tom Howard and I think you might like it. So I, I purchased it and, you know, he said, do you want me to do anything to it? And I said, no. So I'm uh, kind of glad I did because it gives me a little bit of a chance to experiment with this one as well. So here's that, it's got like some glossy lacquer on it, kind of like that old Dr. Graybo. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the nail polish remover to uh, get that off of there too. And uh, so this is going to end up being a, a two for one. We're doing the Dr. Graybo big pipe and it looks like we're going to get the Tom Howard started too. So I'll check back with you and let you know how this looks uh, once I've got that, uh, that finish stripped off of it. Thanks. Really excited. I am really excited. So this is just with the acetone uh, taking the finish off. Look at that. Look at the difference in that. You know what you see? Real grain, real wood. Imagine that. I don't know why Dr. Graybo is doing that. Um, there is just way too nice of wood uh, underneath this. So this is great. I I'm really happy. The next step is, I don't even know if it's totally necessary, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to use the Murphy's Oil Soap. And I'm going to give this thing a really good thorough scrubbing with some Murphy's oil soap and the toothbrush. So that's what I'm going to do now before I do that. Here's the other one with all of the stain removed. And that, uh, uh, whatever, that poly or whatever, the, the lacquer that was on it. Um, I've seen several people mention on their videos, including Eddie Gray, that uh, gray bows smoke better once they've been stripped uh, with that awful lacquer finish off of it. Uh, I guess it allows the wood to breathe. And when the wood can't breathe at all, because uh, it has that lacquer on it, uh, it just makes your smoking experience, I guess, hotter. So I'm anxious to see how this pipe performs now with uh, the lacquer or the poly, whatever, whatever they put on this uh, off of it. But I'm very happy uh, with the outcome thus far. Uh, I'm not going to know exactly how pretty this is going to be until we put that Howard's feed and wax on there. That'll be the, uh, the big indicator of how pretty and how nice this baby is going to turn out. So all I'm doing right now is I'm going over the entire pipe uh, one more time with the Murphy's oil soap. I'm not seeing any junk or residue or any discoloration in the soap. Uh, I think the acetone pretty much lifted everything right down to the bare briar, which is fine. Um, again, I don't know if this step was even necessary, but I'm doing it anyways. Uh, it's just a normal part of the routine of my refurbishing process. So, yeah, I'm not noticing any other color or anything coming out. So, maybe it wasn't necessary. But, uh, just as soon as this is dry, I'm going to wait for this to dry out quite a bit. Uh, and as soon as it's dry, uh, it'll be time to put the Howard's Feed and Wax on there. And then once that Howard's Feed and Wax soaks in, I'll let that soak in a bit. Then it'll be time to put it on the buffer with some carnauba wax and uh, it'll be done. So this pipe will be done today. So just hang, hang tight, hang in there and uh, we'll be back and I'll show you um, when this baby is good and dry and ready for the Howard's Feed and Wax, which is always my favorite part uh, because then you get a real idea of, you know, how it's gonna look uh, finished. So uh, be back soon guys. So this is the bowl after the Murphy's oil soap scrubbing. And uh, it's about dried off now. And it looks like we are ready for some Howard's 
Feed and Wax, which is a wood polish uh, and conditioner. And in it is a blend of beeswax, carnauba wax, and orange oil. So uh, we're not going to really know how this is going to look finished until we add that nice uh, coat and let it soak in nice, and it's really going to make the grain pop. Again, I was really surprised to see all this grain and natural uh, look to the wood underneath. Uh, it's just a darn shame that Dr. Grabo covers up this stuff. I, I think it looks way better. It's going to look great uh, when it's done. So let's go ahead and let's put our feed and wax on. This is my favorite part. Is then you get a nice look at how it's gonna look. Finished. Okay, here we go. Yeah, night and day. I mean, this looks like a nice, pretty briar pipe now, you know. I don't know why they do that. Dr. Grabo, if you're watching this video, you need to just leave your pipes alone. Just put some nice uh, conditioner in them and, and just carnauba wax them. I don't know if it would cost them too much money to carnauba wax each one. Is it just easier for them to put a, a stain and lacquer on them? I don't know. But this is the way to go. Look how pretty that is. And all the, the, the carved spots are going to be darker, um, which is good. That, look, that looks neat. It looks, you know, accented in all those spots. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off the excess at the moment just to give you an idea now of what it will look like uh, finished, uh, but I'm gonna put a real heavy coat of this on there and I'm gonna leave it for about 20 minutes, which is what it's recommended on the bottle to soak in and absorb. But take a look at that, guys. Look at that. Actual grain. Pretty wood underneath that. So, cool, very cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a thick uh, coat on here, uh, let it sit for a while, let it soak in, and then uh, wipe off the excess, and then it'll be ready for some carnauba. Thanks. Here it is. Look at that. Dr. Grabo, what is wrong with you? Look how nice that is. Absolutely nice. So much nicer than it was. So now it's time to buff this baby and polish it up. We're going to put uh, some carnauba wax on this. And uh, hopefully it'll make it shine. Awesome. One last step. <sighs> so I don't have my buffer yet over at... Um, um, where it's going to be, I should say. Uh, so uh, I've got it here on the floor in the office and uh, I'm not gonna use um, the uh, nasty side over here. I'm just going to use the, the buffing side. So here we go.
Finished product. Buffed. Carnuba waxed. And my advice to you is this. <laughs> if you own a Dr. Graybo, in particular, this one, the big pipe, do yourself in this pipe a favor and strip it. Get all that crap uh, poly or lacquer on, off of it and bring it down to the natural briar because this is what's waiting underneath. This is the beautiful pipe that you could find underneath that crap. So there it is. The finished Dr. Graybo big pipe. All right. Uh, this one is about done. So we can put we could put the uh, carnuba on this one and that'll be done too. So just wanted to share that one as well. That one came along good. Uh, I am significantly happier uh, about this one uh, because it just, you know, the wood you're talking about uh, underneath here is, is much uh, prettier. So much more grain. This one's nice pipe, don't get me wrong. Nice little bull moose, but just doesn't have the grain that uh, this does. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching uh, this restoration, or excuse me, refurbishing of this uh, Dr. Graybo. Uh, it was practically like new. I think I've only smoked it maybe about four or five times, but uh, just was not to my liking. It just wasn't pretty. And now it looks pretty darn nice. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for stopping back. And until next time, YouTube Pipe Smokers, I will talk to you soon.